there I have this rock on a turn style so I can just turn it by hand the big chisels getting tired and the reason is because I've been running this thing for about an hour and a half off just batteries, no charger, and I'm down to 11 and a half volts. It runs quite a while. It's actually very efficient. If you were to use gasoline, you'd waste it. And so this charges the batteries quickly, and you can release it in the right form. Not like a gas guzzling modern day ridiculous generator engine thing that just blows all the actual fuel out the window. There's the old wheel. Turn along, got it pretty good. Keeps that consistency. And I made all these other things. Here's something kind of cool. Anybody can see that. It's a rock that has a bunch of holes on both sides. And a very thin membrane in between. And then of course my other dish. With coconut oil for the loveliness of this. Whoop. Ready to shut it off, go and eat something, and plug in the charger, but... But if I were Ed, I'd have some friend charge the batteries up. Plus, that other one on the right is a little bit too high. It needs to be a little lower to pull it up better. But I'll monitor the progress. Over and out on this first take. Okay, so just one little note. When I take this switch arm and adjust it in or out, it makes the duration on the switch longer or shorter. Therefore, the pulling power within a timing cycle of rotation, of course, Still, that one on the right is getting tired. It's hot. It's heavy. I'm down to 11 and now well, 11 and a half volts. But I'm not doing it. Sweet. Well, another take because I took some of the wire off of this coil. That one heats up nicely to the optimum equilibrium point where it still pulls and stays running indefinitely. This one used to warm up enough to where it would drop the heaviness out. So that meant that the resistance was too high because it never got warm. Well, I got warm but not hot. So now it's quite a bit warmer, but still not hot, so I may take more off, but it lifts up a lot higher now and works indefinitely. And it's a much heavier rod, the one on the right. It's actually got a star point, and as I turn the wheel, I say the wheel, but you get the point, there's a uh, turn style under there. And of course, the wheel, wheel proper. And I just wound this one to run off of here, which does this when I get it up. And that'll run something else, lighter, smaller. Something I'm going to run off 6 volts. A small slug that has a higher frequency and see if I can't use it for carving letters. And there's some of the things so far.
Don't ask. I have no idea why I did that. Well, turned out kind of cool. I might set this at the top of an obelisk. Or at least a stack of rocks that looks like an obelisk. Pointing to my North Star. Which is our North Star. This millennia. Draco Polaris, and I can never remember the third one. them so they're cutting a lot faster now. I have to clean up the powder a lot quicker when I sharpen the tips. doing that all by itself and the little girl keeps turning I don't even have the battery charger plugged in and this will go an hour without me charging it even longer so I'm gonna go out and do some firewood I can hear it if it stops I run in and start it but at least it's doing the work while I'm doing something else over and out Good morning, folks. Sunday. There's four six volt batteries that are just about shot. I have them in parallel. And just to demonstrate that with number 12 wrapped around here, they will lift the slug. And that's the same size slug that's in this big hammer over here, which is pretty good. I haven't weighed them yet. And here's what I got going getting deeper and deeper. This is going to be the sight hole for the Polaris Star Rock Star Finder. <laughs> it's going to be the Rock Star Finder. And I'm going to set this on top of whatever I have to make out there on the ledge. I don't know if I'm going to get a 25 foot chunk of rock to quarry. And this runs okay still. Glad I don't have to crank it. Maybe the patent thing should go on. I don't know. I wonder if Ed tried to patent that thing. They said no, because it had already been done a hundred years ago. Be interesting to find out. But anyway, I'm conducting a few other experiments for when I get some better 6 volt batteries. And shortly, I have a rail up here. Shortly, I'm going to connect up these, which have some pretty good pieces for chopping, and maybe set four of these hanging. There's this morning's two minutes. Two minutes and change. Is I'll turn this thing. And as it starts to really chip away, believe it or not. I mean, I just vacuumed that powder up. I've got about four hours solid, maybe five, into this rock so far. Maybe more, I don't know, eight or so, but still, that's not much. I haven't done any of the work, really. I set the damn thing here, and I turn it once in a while to go do firewood. If the chisel gets bound up, I free it up. They get wedged because I got the wrong kind of stuff. But it does it. I'm 
And they're two different sizes, so that's not good either, but it still does it. And when you saw that one, it just went and hit and spun around about three times. Once in a while, it'll turn and hit and clang and spin like crazy. Yeah, I'm turning the rock. I'm trying to. end up with all these funny little pieces left over. That one was a clean break. And these pieces here, that thing's kind of interesting. I think that came from over there off of that one, which is a unique piece. Okay, that's enough for whatever I put up earlier. No more marathon, just progress. And I'll soon show the site I'm going to build my obelisk and the North Star finding rock setup. I don't want to call it the Polaris telescope because RL Pool's correct. It's not a telescope, it's a star finder site. Sextant, really. Navigation piece, kind of, in the old days. Alright. Over and out. every once in a while. I'm going to find a nominal chisel head. Well, there's three in action. Two of them are off of one big relay and off the little relay. That's the little relay. It's actually a 24 volt AC relay. That's one I made. And the three hammers of course. All piloted. Oops. the wheel and the famous switch with the four leaf clovers and 
I think Ed used this sequence also. That's what I'm doing it with. And who knows at this point until something surfaces. This certainly works. Simple. I don't know how you chip a well with this, so his yoke must have had a different setup, which I will soon derive. But this works. I'll jump. For those that care, turning the wheel, 12 volts, running this light, pulsing because of that, surging the PMH causes that light to flicker. And over here, my lights are AC, but the three rods, oh yeah, and the two relays are 12 volts, and all three rods are 12 volts. And actually, it's some pretty good rods. The one on the right hand side has a pipe around it, up inside, up inside here to pull better, but the bottom is narrow. It's a little heavier than it looks. They all do quite a bit of work over time. Precarious wire setup. It works somewhat. Chisel is actually a chin up bar. One inch chin up bar. Used to be six feet long. It's now one and a half feet with that chisel on the end. So it's still pretty heavy. I'm going to stop this here oscillation somehow. just added this one on the left here and I haven't beefed it up here. Both of these are anchored in the mid harmonic points 
this one's making a mess, so I gotta stop and anchor it. All right, there's a bunch of the accoutrements that were used to get this far. Including the lazy boy, lazy boy Susan. Boy named Sue, I guess. <laughs> and so, it's almost breakthrough time. Let me get my gloves on here. I think I can do this without messing everything up, but it's on an edge. You see how the membranes are, almost an artwork in its own here. But I gotta crack it and make the obelisk top. And this might take a few. The Singing Hammer! It was my fault. Homemade unit. Okay! Getting closer. Couple of pieces for those who can see the gaps. Few membranes holding, very few, a couple big ones. All of a sudden, I'm probably gonna have my hands fall here. 
and if it breaks, I'm going to cry. So, I'm going to put something under there in case it drops all at once. Not bad. And so, I guess it's my duty. Here's Fred's first piece. And there's the. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the said unit. You gotta oil it now because this stuff's rough business, but that's an old lazy boy chair bottom. And there it is! Work of art. With flaws because this rock. Oh man. Does have character actually, and so on. Over and out, folks. Oh, wait, no, no, never over and out. This is the one I am expecting to sight the bottom through. Why, thank you! And then this, you get the idea. Only maybe 50 feet apart. That's a close up view. I gotta sit down. There it is. The old girl. Under construction. Switch went bad. Because this relay was a little too much for the draw of that micro switch and that little that action, that switch came off a, a ski lift, I think. They had a bunch of switches they were throwing away, and I grabbed a few of them. Over and out.